Today we're talking about five ways to use social media when you're choosing an engineering college. Now for most of you, if you're a parent or a high school counselor perhaps, when you see teenagers on their phone looking at social media, you just see a bunch of brain dead zombies. But hold on for a second. This is time that your teens are using undirected with initiative to focus in on something that they're actually really interested in. So I want to give you five ways to start having conversations with them about their social media and see if it helps you look into engineering colleges and how to narrow down their engineering interests. So my first tip is to ask what's on their For You page on their TikTok account. A For You page is an algorithm uh, developed by TikTok to help show you more of what you're already watching. So this is a really good indicator of where your teen is already spending their time. So let's see if it can help us with engineering. For example, if your student is constantly watching videos about cooking and food, no matter what it is, whether it's cooking, how it's made, where it comes from, let's use that. They could look into going to Ohio State University and majoring in food engineering. This means all of their engineering classes will now be focused around food. Now, Ohio does have a program that's heavy in agriculture and environmental science, as well as food. So a lot of this may be related to uh, where our food comes from and how it gets from where it comes from to factories and what happens to it in factories and then how it gets to the table. But nonetheless, if your student has an interest in food and an interest in engineering, you'll definitely want to have them check out this program as well as look up others. This means that the classes they take in engineering are going to be really applicable to concepts that they already understand and that they enjoy related to food. Tip number two, ask what they watch on YouTube. Now, I have a, a teenager and they told me they don't really watch a lot of YouTube because they don't have that much attention span. YouTube is for long form content. So if your students are using YouTube, they're probably watching something for longer than five or 10 minutes. What is it that they're watching? It can be a huge clue about how to choose an engineering major. For example, if your students are watching concerts, this is definitely an indicator that they love music. Maybe some of your students have grown up playing music their entire lives. Maybe you've decided that you don't really want them to be a starving artist and you've discouraged a major in music. Well, I have a solution. Have them look at the University of Hartford. And there's many colleges out there that offer something like this, but here's one that I found. They offer an engineering degree in acoustical engineering and music or a mechanical engineering degree with an acoustics concentration. Now, all of that educational training that your student may have had in music for the past 10, 15 years is going to be applied towards a new subject of engineering. And the principles they're learning in engineering will start to become very applicable and practical as they're applying it to their passion of music. So for example, they're going to get to take classes in architecture that are related to acoustics. So if you're in a concert hall, the people who built that concert hall had to know a lot about acoustical engineering in order to create a space that is going to resonate sound well. Um, they're also going to get to take classes, for example, in turbo machinery, noise control, in vibrations. There's lots of science happening here, but with a filter of music. So definitely check out this program at Hartford. I think your students are going to love it if they have a deep passion in music and definitely want to look into engineering. Think about all the new technology that's developed over the past 10 or 15 years related to music. And how could your students get into those industries uh, to be designing the next thing related to sound that we haven't even thought about existing yet? I mean, every time I put on my daughter's um, AirPods, they totally make me sick. Like, I don't even know what is happening, but like the sound and how it like closes everything off with the noise canceling, it makes me super sick to my stomach. And like, I, I just feel like mind 
my, my, like, I'm like out of my body and an out of body experience. But for my daughter, she loves it. It's been a game changer for her. And right now one of them are broken and I have to go to the Apple store tomorrow because she cannot live without these things. Uh, she totally loves them. Those were made by an acoustic engineer, I am pretty sure. So uh, definitely check this out. Your students are going to love it. And it's a great way to help them combine these passions and for, for them to not give up all that training in music if you are worried about them being a starving artist. Next, let's look at what they follow on Instagram. This is our tip number three when choosing a engineering major. So Instagram is typically a place where students love to follow something and get feed. And if your student is following a lot of sports related content, you'll definitely want to encourage them to look into sports engineering. So I found that Nottingham Trent University, which is overseas, does have a bachelor's degree in sports engineering. Here in the US, a lot of our sports engineering programs are master's degree and up. For example, there's a great program on the West Coast where a lot of the internships and industry research is, is heavily connected to Nike, um, but this is definitely a program you'll want to check out. Students can take their love and knowledge of kinesiology and sports and movement and apply all the mechanical concepts that they're learning to develop um, apparel, to develop um, equipment, as well as technology for how we measure and engage in sports. So if you think about the Olympics coming up, that's a great opportunity to really see technology and engineering in action as people are designing courses and courts and all the tracking information to be able to monitor speed, um, as well as looking at all of the equipment that's being used. Um, lots and lots of sports engineers involved when we look at the world of sports. So such a great program being offered. And there are some offered in the US, but a lot of them really are at the master's level. Um, but this is gonna get students right in studying sports right away and not have to necessarily study mechanical engineering and then hopefully get an internship or a job in the world of sports, but instead be studying it from day one. All right, our next tip, number four, our fourth tip on using social media to help us look at engineering degrees. My question is, what are in your pictures on Snapchat? So if your students use Snapchat and a lot of their pictures are related to fandoms, robotics, animatronics, all things electrical and cool related to special effects, they may really love looking at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, Bachelor of Science in Entertainment, Engineering, and Design. This is such a cool program, and it's located in a place where there's so much industry. If you walk down the strip, everywhere you look, you're going to see um, entertainment engineering in action, from the lighted boards that you see to uh, the shows that you're watching, the screens that you're seeing, the movies that are being filmed. Um, everything related to entertainment can be linked back to a degree like this. Your students can take classes in undergrad on things like animatronics. If you don't know what animatronics are, pretty much think about like going to a theme park and having an electronic character interact with you. Like that's animatronics. So I think of, you know, um, Disney and think of like, um, who is it? Oh my goodness, I cannot remember. I think it's, oh, Mr. is it Mr. Potato Head? I hope so. Wow, it's been a while since I've been to Disneyland California Adventure, but I wanna say it's like Mr. Potato Head or Slinky or someone um, who is at the ride Toy Story and they're interacting with you and talking with you. There's a lot of AI that's being used, a lot of robotics, a lot of animatronics. The earliest form of animatronics was someone that we all know and love, Chuck E. Cheese. He's a little bit scary, a little bit creepy, but he's gotten better over the years. But that was developed by a company called Gardner & Holt. Gardner & Holt 
um, still continues to make animatronics, which are much more sophisticated than Chuck E. Cheese. And they make lots of the set designs and props and things for amusement parks. But I think this degree in entertainment engineering is amazing. Your students will love it if they're super into all of this stuff. Um, and what a great way to attach their areas of interest to an engineering degree and be able to be working in industry right away. So our last question on how to use social media to choose your engineering focus is what do you make videos about? So maybe your student is creating content for social media on some sort of a platform and what are they making those videos about? Let's assume that they're maybe making those videos about cars and they're designing cool cars in different uh, computer design games or video games and these are futuristic cars that they just come up with and, and use physics and aerodynamics to construct and perhaps even race. And they're making videos and sharing it online. That would mean that they have a heavy interest in automotive engineering, perhaps. At Clemson, this is a newer program, and students can literally start majoring in uh, automotive engineering right away. So instead of taking a general mechanics engineering program somewhere at a highly ranked school and hoping to fall in line with automotive engineering down the line, this is going to set them up really nicely. They're going to get to take so many cool classes um, all related to automotive from um, propulsion to um, learning about human design when it comes to designing a vehicle and what do consumers want, to learning about electronics, uh, to even testing vehicles and, and looking at performance dynamics. How cool is that? Um, I knew someone who actually wanted to major in automotive engineering when they went to college, but they chose the college with the highest ranking. And that's kind of why I made this video. I know a lot of you are getting ready to do college decisions right now. You are getting um, acceptance and rejection letters. And it's like, what college do I choose for my engineering degree? Which one's highest ranked? Which one's going to give me the best merit? Those are all really good questions to ask, but it really does boil down to like, what do you love? So the student that I'm thinking of like spent all their time on sports and cars and things like that. They weren't um, interested in a lot of different areas of engineering, but they chose engineering as a degree. They applied to the school with the highest ranking. And unfortunately for them, the school with the highest ranking that they got into ended up having a research grant to study medical devices and uh, technology for the next four years and so they learned about defibrillators and pacemakers. All their internships, all their research, everything was related to pacemakers and defibrillators which is great for the study of medicine but that wasn't that student's interest. So this question that I asked about what are your students looking at on social media is a really important one. So the next time I hope that you see screenagers using their phones instead of judging them and thinking they're just zombies consuming pointless information, ask what they're watching. And it could be a clue to help them think about how to use social media as a clue for how to narrow their engineering focus and do some research to find a college that's gonna help connect them to internships, research, uh, jobs, and classes that are heavily focused around engineering what they want. Engineering is a lot like accounting, I say, and you can do accounting absolutely anywhere. You can engineer absolutely anything. So let's be deliberate and make sure that we're making good choices and not just choosing the highest ranked university. I'm the fly on the desk, and for more unsolicited advice, ideas, and comments about things, all things college and career, you can follow me here. Or if you would actually like some solicited advice, ideas, and comments related to college and career, you may email me your questions and I'll hopefully get to them here. Thank you so much.